the last thing I want to say is uh, there's a software called Web Scraping Software, which is good to know about. I've gone to cnetsdownload.com here. And so if you ever need software, uh, just random software, not like mainstream software, this is actually a really good website for finding trustworthy software that doesn't have viruses because CNET's a reputable computer company publishing. And uh, I came here and I searched for Web Scraper. And so different Web Scraper com software comes up. And what you can do with Web Scraper software is like perform data extraction, website monitoring, you know, um, and you could extract all the files into a spreadsheet. So you could try this different scraping software and you could set it up to run overnight and it'll basically, you know, go to any website that you point it towards and pull down all of their data. So it'll go through every page, page by page by page, and it'll just pull down all of the data into a spreadsheet so that you, uh, you can work with it. So it's really useful software to know about. And, um, you know, it's kind of like more of a secret thing I have found on, of the Internet and the World Wide Web that this kind of software exists. Most people don't know about it, but it's actually very similar to a, a web crawler, which is what search engines use to build their databases of what exactly is out there on the web. So that software you could use to automate some of that process of pulling data into spreadsheets. So just remember it's a trial and error process and, and as you're trying to copy data from a website and bring it into a spreadsheet, just go through these different steps and, uh, and then once you get it in, if you need to do a little adjusting, you could do that parsing and then sorting and you'll be good to go. You'll be grabbing data off the web so that you can work with it because there's a lot of useful stuff out there. All right, onwards and forwards to check out our next video, which is filtering and sorting data, removing duplicates, and really useful tool, subtotaling data. Here we go!